What's up, everybody? It's the Digital World Podcast. I want to wish every one of you a happy new year. Thank you for um, sticking with me throughout this time. Um, I know I got my channel started in 2021, and we're still here. And so um, I know from the get-go, um, it was about changing at least or, or at least informing one person at a time. And so that's what this channel has been for to inform you guys of the news. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So this is the CBS National Security Contributor predicts that there will be a, a terrorist attack in 2023. So take a listen. Mike, um, after the fall of Kabul, you were on this program and you correctly forecast that the Taliban knew where Al Qaeda's leader was inside Afghanistan. Right. Um, so I'm wondering what your thought is about where the emerging terror threat is now. Right. So one of the major affiliates of Al Qaeda, it's called Al Qaeda in the Indian subcontinent. The leader of that group, the deputy of that group, and the top recruiter of that group are today in Afghanistan. So Al Qaeda is, is a problem that needs to be watched in Afghanistan. The bigger problem in, Af in Afghanistan at the moment is ISIS. And ISIS, you know, almost weekly attacks inside Afghanistan. The biggest worry is that they are increasingly recruiting from neighboring countries. And those individuals, particularly Tajikistan, those individuals are coming in where they're getting training from ISIS. And the concern is that they might leave Afghanistan, go back to their home countries and conduct attacks against Western interests, think embassies. Um, the bigger the bigger terrorism problem is actually in Africa, all the way from Somalia, all the way to, to, to West Africa, where you've got both Al Qaeda affiliates and you've got ISIS affiliates. They have control huge swaths of territory. Um, they've conducted primarily local attacks so far, but at some point, Western embassies, Western military bases in both Africa and possibly in Europe could become targets. And if we're going to make a prediction uh, for 2023, I I'd say we're going to see a terrorist attack against a Western interest somewhere in the world. Well, that's terrifying. Um, it it's sobering. It's a reminder that declaring victory was too early. Terrorism has always waxed and waned. It has always gone up and down, and I think it's it's starting to bounce back again. Mike, uh... so folks, get ready for. I mean, who knows? You just never know um, what's going to happen. But with each passing year, you've seen from the get go, from twenty twenty, you start you started to see this agenda in full fledged force. So um, be prepared because it's not going to get better. It's going to get worse, folks. And and there's an end game here. There's an end game, and um, I believe that the end of the six thousand year war between Christ and Satan is definitely coming to to an end. Uh, but anyways, uh, moving on here. Here we see that <laughs> the Christine Lagarde says that limiting fast wage growth is needed to rein in inflation. We must not allow inflationary expectations to become de-anchored or wages to have an inflationary effect. So they're wanting to rein in inflationary pressures and they're blaming it on workers who are asking for higher wages. <laughs> so that's the, uh, that's, oh man, that takes the joke of the day. Here is Michael Burry saying inflation peaked, but is not the last peak of this cycle. We're likely to see CPI lower, possibly negative in the second half of 2023 and the U.S. in recession by any definition. Fed will cut and government will stimulate and we'll have another inflation spike. It's not hard. Folks, in each of these cycles, the end game is to inflate, inflate, inflate. They're never going to cut spending, cut spending, cut spending. And especially when you have uh, corrupt uh, people in charge. And so uh, I've shown you the chart multiple times of what happened in the 70s. There's three major inflationary spikes with each subsequent one being higher than the last. And so you have to be uh, well aware of this situation. You heard it here first. Croatia sacrifices its sovereignty and sells its soul to the euro as the guard welcomed it to the family. So uh, they have now welcomed Croatia as the 20th member of the euro area. And the Croatian Central Bank, uh, they're congratulating them for the adoption of the euro. 
Um, so one step closer to that uh, one world currency, getting all the countries on board. Uh, here we see, I believe I've shown this to you guys multiple times, central banks have been net buyers of gold. Uh, 400 tons, the, uh, the most we see as far as 2013, as far as this chart goes. So they've been increasingly buying gold. What are they buying gold for? Ask yourself that question. Uh, welcome to 2023, the 100-year anniversary when Germany had hyperinflation. So there you go. Uh, it never ends. It doesn't stop. And it will continue to go. The cycles always repeat, whether it's, it's a different nation. It's always similar and the same. Here we have in 2008, they bailed out the banks after the economic crisis hit. In 2020, they bailed out the banks before the economic crisis hit. Um, but this time, there's no help coming. The bailout has already happened. So strap up your seatbelts. And finally, to uh, end this, there's been massive flooding that's been happening in the uh, Sacramento County area, San Francisco area. And I mean, you see here, I believe I've driven through this before, um, but it, it's unbelievably high. And uh, I mean, as you can see here, the floodwaters across all this, this side of town and, and farms. Um, you can see here, right? I mean, and I'll show you a video in just a second, but all this is just completely flooded. Um, going into buildings. And I've seen some videos in which the waters are, if you look at my cursor here, the waters are like uh, almost to the uh, brim of the tires of this like Range Rover. And so it's, 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 I mean, for that area, it's a lot, a lot of rain. I think they got around six inches in a matter of uh, a day or two. So anyways, that's the news. Again, happy new year to you all. Thank you for um, being on this journey with me. Um, it's the Digital World Podcast. Uh, like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one, everyone.